Look, priests, me and the other martyrs have been talking, and you know, we, we've all come to the agreement, it, it, you know, it, it's time for you to go back on stage. Of course, but fuck me, you know, e even I can't, with the Lord's help, get around the issue of COVID. The, you know, the comedy world pretty much shut down, thankfully, where, you know, some of the uh, comics are concerned. Yes, but before COVID, let's face it, you know, you, you've been a bit slack. I mean, you know, you, you barely went on stage for two years. Wow, you know, we'd met Marie, hadn't we? And, you know, I, you know, I spent a lot of time devoted to the fine arts of cunnilingus. Ah, cunnilingus, you know, I, I love the word along with osculation. They make a beautiful pair. <laughs> Sounds like a mouthful to me. Literally. See, you're writing comedy. To be already. honest, you know, I, I, I'm ready to get back on stage. You know, the, the last gig I did was, you know, full, to a room full of Tories. The promoter was raising money for a local food bank. No conflict at all, you know. Needless to say, not my crown. Well, anyway, look, you need to get back on stage. We're all doing our parts. You know, Mott of the, the artist is painting constantly. Sold a few with a couple of commissions here and there now. You know, even in the gallery, pe people are starting to take note. You know, Mott the musician, he's just finished a new folk album to be released anytime soon and now working on another political album. Mott the filmmaker is filming everything we do and I'm writing articles and about to start on the new novel. You know, and you, well, you know, you've been playing Hide the Salami. Hey. I, you know, I've been working on a double album too, you know, but I do miss the stage, you know, and one day I'd like to, you know, be on, you know, the Ed Norton show, Graham. It would be great on a Friday night sitting with all those stars, you know, I've never fucking heard of discussing my new album with Ed. Graham. Sitting in front of a crowd I have no, absolutely no interest in, you know, laughing with Ed. Graham, it's fucking Graham. What? It's Graham Norton, not Ed. Anyway, TV won't have you anywhere near it. Your material is far too dark and offensive. You think? No, I can just see how well the cunt cancer routine will work to Middle England. All right, you have a point. But I've been thinking, you know, because, uh, you know, as we all know, everyone's got a little wet behind the fucking ears lately. And I'm, I'm not sure if any promoter would even give me a gig due to the offence in my shows. So I've been writing some jokes that may just help me get on the same. Uh, interesting, you know, let's hear cool. them. I love going to Tesco's to buy my herbs because they have the real deal. What? Really? You're going from routines about well, abortion. I, look, I know to it's this. awful, but you know, you, you got to get your foot in the door, right? How about this? I'm just going to grab a pair of parasites, two ticks. Fuck me, are you trying to join the ranks of those fucking awful TV comedians? What happened to all the fucking sex? The celebrity rape routine, you know, was an excellent piece to illustrate how our society would do anything for fame. What about the skit about pornography and people's dedication to the inanities of life, like word documents and insurance policies? Or the piece about wanking over right move, you know, fucking house porn, how, where our society's going and their fetishes? Like, these were interesting, perspicacious, dangerous gangs. I'm with you, but you know, the world is scared of that humour now. It'd be really weird if I had a mahogany breast, wouldn't it? Stop, stop, stop! You know, no more, you're destroying the brand. You know, we're not a bunch of fucking wet fucks. If you're gonna go down that route, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but you're, you're just gonna no longer be a motto. Wow. Okay, okay. That's a bit harsh, but I guess you four are right. How about this then? I recently split up with my 14 year old girlfriend. We'd been experimenting with anal sex. She said I'd become too much like a father figure. Welcome back. Do you think Ed would like it? Graham.